Meow. Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint, and welcome back to the shadows that run alongside our car. We played this recently, and we realized that there's two perspectives that you can play through in this game. The guy's perspective and the girl's perspective. And we chose the guys first, and I feel like we realized that there was a lot of opportunity to see what was going on in the girl's mind as well, because there was definitely things that she was holding back from us. So, a lot of you guys said you really liked it, a lot of you guys liked the video, which is always how I can tell if you guys like a certain series or game. So if, you, if you've been enjoying this, make sure you leave like before you go. And we'll go ahead and try out the female's perspective here. Now there's like six different endings to this game, I don't know if I'm gonna go for all of them, but I am interested to see how much the dialogue changes here. I lay back against the passenger seat. And if you don't know what this game is about, it is about two people who are apparently in an apocalypse. I didn't know that the first time I played this. They're in the middle of like some sort of zombie apocalypse. They're driving off from somewhere and they don't even know each other. They're complete strangers and they just talk. And they talk about stuff that's a little introspective, makes you think, which is really cool. And by the way, I don't know if you can tell, but my camera's flipped a little bit around so you can see more of, more of this mess. These are the type of things that YouTubers get excited about trying new things with their camera. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this here. It's weird sitting on this side of the car. But my stomach's been feeling off for a while, so I just can't drive. And now it's already different because we found out later in our first playthrough as the guy that she had a stomach ache. We don't know why, we don't know what's been going on, but it'll be really interesting to play through this whole thing as the girl. And so I've handed my keys over to this stranger. What's the worst that could happen, right? I stare out the window watching the unchanging scenery whiz by. There's an awkward silence, but... I don't feel like feeling it. Oh, this is gonna be so cool because we kind of know what he thinks now. Like, we we know what kind of guy he is. He was a drifter, didn't really have any sort of job, was just kind of traveling across the country like as a nomad, as he, as he described it. And it'll be way more, I feel, fulfilling to know that what his perspective is as an innocent one while we're sitting here as the girl who I'm probably going to call Shaniqua again. <laughs> it's so stuffy in this car. I reach for the window control button and let the window roll open. This is so cool. You sure that's a good idea? It's not like zombies are just gonna hurl themselves at a moving car. What's cool is like we'll see dialogue repeat itself, but we'll see the thoughts behind each piece of dialogue are so different. Well, who knows? Maybe they would. <laughs> Fair enough. The slight breeze feels good against my neck. But this guy looks like he wants to say something. So, guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three whole days, but uh, what's your name anyway? Right, we never did introduce ourselves. It's uh, Shelby. Uh uh. We're gonna go Shaniqua. There you go, Shaniqua. <laughs> Shaniqua. Well, it's nice to officially meet you then, Shaniqua. My name's not Dustin. He does kind of look like a Dustin, though, doesn't he? You think he looks like a Dustin? I think he looks like a Dustin. Swing Bob. <laughs> Okay. He looks dissatisfied. How was he expecting me to react? It's not like I really care, but somehow he doesn't look very much like a swing bob. <laughs> I continue staring out the window. The sky is so red. Well, excuse me, you don't really look like a Shaniqua, but who am I to judge? Normally, I would think it's pretty, but now it's just depressing me. Bad things come out after dark. I remember that all too well. I'd rather not think about that, so I decided to break the silence after all. So, uh, what were you doing before everything happened? Huh? Uh, oh. He looks surprised. I guess I haven't been talking so much since we met. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. You know, this and that. I never really settled into one thing in particular. What does that mean? And what's interesting is th I think that was a choice that we could have made the first time we played, which is pretty cool. So now I get to- oh god, both of these options again suck, that was weird. <laughs> he doesn't sound like he really wants to talk about it. I wonder what his job really was. Maybe he was a trash collector, he does look kinda dirty. <laughs> so do you! This girl's way more judgmental than he was. He was more like, oh, well, I don't want to hurt her or, you know, be a nuisance to her. She's more like, well, bish. Well, I shouldn't be rude. I'm not much of a catch myself. Okay, so she's a little humble. What about you? This ride is yours, right? 
I'm that well. It's really my dad's car, or was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. After Dad get oh, after Dad got his third DUI, his license was revoked. He used that as an excuse to never leave the house. It was just as well, anyway. Sometimes he'd leave the car somewhere and forget where. Oh, guess he didn't. Sorry, never mind. I'm feeling surprisingly calm about this. It's. Like I'm on the outside looking in. And I th I think what would be really cool is if it's pulling the choices that I made as that guy into the playthrough here. Granted, I don't know that the dialogue changes either way. I wonder if I'm really that callous. Maybe the apocalypse is just giving me more perspective. It's okay, the booze would have killed him eventually anyway. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Yeah, take a hint already. Oh my god, she's such a dick. Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Still. Do you think there's any radio stations left? I'd be pretty shocked if there was so. I reckon it couldn't hurt to look, though. I reached towards the console and turned the radio dial in one direction. There's nothing but static, but sometimes a metallic screeching. Great. Hang on a sec, go back down. Huh? What did he hear exactly? There couldn't really be something out there, could there? I slowly rotate the knob back the other way. Wait! There is, I, I think. It was Mariachi again. Is that Mariachi? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe out of all the music that'd be playing, this is what we get. What am I thinking? Of course it is. Of course, we're on a highway to hell in the dark, and the mariachi is the only music available to us. The combination of Spanish vocals and the horns on the track are completely ridiculous right now. I'm actually dying. The dual set tones of this fabulous man are actually killing me. That is not what I was expecting. Who the hell's out there running this? Of all the music that would be left. Man. It takes a minute to settle down, but... Wait, isn't this the same song again? Oh, it's probably on an endless loop. Why wouldn't it be? Typical. Sure seems that way. Guess it's just ghosts on the waves after all. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. What do you think a zombie would even listen to? So we talked about all this in the last playthrough. Is death metal too obvious? Rob Zombie? Maybe they're all into baby metal these days. I don't know. Maybe the Grateful Dead is more apt. You know, I've always wondered this, but what exactly are they grateful for? <laughs> Maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace? Oh. I wish they'd let the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now, anyway. Well, except for that. <laughs> He gestures toward the console. 101.7 is now the Infinite Loop Mariachi's radio station. <laughs> so what are you into anyway? Uh, music-wise, I really like Alanis Morissette, Top 40 Hits, that sort of thing. Not like I had a whole lot of free time to explore my musical taste or anything. Yeah, because we learned that she doesn't work the whole time while she was growing up. She didn't really, like, go out and do things with her life. You? And please don't tell me it's baby metal. Will you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? No, I might say that's for the best. He doesn't have to know that I unironically like baby metal. <laughs> what do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into like Stones or Marley or something, but... Well, you'd probably actually judge me more for this, but... Try me. Abba. <laughs> oh my god, I can't keep a straight face! <laughs> I lose it. Everything is just too damn much. He looks kind of solid. I'm sorry, Swing Bob, but not that sorry. <laughs> Told you. No, no, it's fine. Their music is catchy. I managed to get these words out. All this laughing is making my stomach hurt more, damn it. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it it's fine. Your parents? Ugh. So, how old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for Alanis. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there's no right way to answer that question, except for that one. I'm 22. Mm. What kind of reaction is that? No, whoa, you look so young or anything like that? I wonder how old Swing Bob is anyway. 
This music's kind of similar to ABBA, isn't it? All peppy and stuff? I don't know how old Swing Bob is. I really want to know. You should be happy to have it. Yeah, that's sure an optimistic take on it. All right, enough of you. He purposefully reaches over and shuts off the radio. He's got a surprisingly immature side to him, too. Did you ever expect things to end up this way? What? Where did that come from all of a sudden? Pause immediately change the subject. What if I pause? Why do you have to ruin the mood like that? Oh my god, she is such a different person. He was like such a complete sweetheart and she's like way more cynical than him. Interesting. And you know, based off of what he was saying and what we know about her, Shaniqua here didn't have a whole lot of opportunity to see the world, right? That's what she said. She just worked. She grew up, went through high school, just started work. I don't even know if she went all the way through high school. I can't remember. But she just got straight into working, right? And that's all she knew. She knew her drunk dad and work. So she never really got to see much of the world and experience a whole lot of things. And then we have Drifter here, who traveled all over the country, saw who knows what, was probably rejected a bunch of different times, so it's probably changed his mindset to be a little bit more accepting of people, and to be a little bit more... I don't know, forgiving. Because it's hard to hate your fellow man when you are them, right? So... Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. I could just be talking out of my butthole right now, but that kind of makes sense a little bit, doesn't it? I don't know. Why do you have to ruin the mood like that? It's getting dark, huh? The sun sets so late in the summer. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the streetlights and all. It's like the sky's just been saving it up. Looks a bit like a dying fire. That sounds kind of morbid, but... Kind of fitting for the end of the world. Mm. It's silent again. For a little while, but it doesn't last. So, you never really told me what it is you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but well... What do you do? Or like, what did you do before everything? Like, do you do? Huh? I turn my eyes to the window as I think on my life. Actually, I just, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I would wake up, shower, go to work, have a lunch break, go back to work, get off work, eat dinner, watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And then the whole thing would just start all over again in the morning. That was about it. And after leading such a boring life, I ended up here. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, she didn't really do much. She just... Day in, day out, she didn't really get the opportunity to, like, explore and enjoy things and see different types of people, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like traveling, like, across the world, across the country, anywhere, like, it really is good for a person because it just opens your brain up to, like, different cultures, different people, different experiences, and helps make you more well-rounded, which I feel is an admirable trait. It makes you more likable. And, I don't know, I feel like it's just really good for the brain, the soul, I don't know, to just experience life a little bit. Helps, helps make you a little bit more, again, calm, understanding of everyone else. That's just my perspective. If you haven't traveled and you've always wanted to, oh my god, go do it. Just do it, because, man, you're missing out if you've never traveled before. I'm probably not even going to go out with a bang. My death's going to be as dull as my life. I guess that'd be most people's story. It was tough out there. It was tough. Probably tougher now. Huh. All kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? You work your damn tail off and everything just goes to pot anyway. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? That's deep. He's just trying to sound cool. That's deep. It's actually exactly how I feel about it, too. I'm surprised that I'm actually able to relate to him. Yeah. But I guess that doesn't matter either way. Zombies don't care whether you're a good or bad person. We're all gonna die anyway. Oh god. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. I used to travel a lot. Looking for work and stuff. I suppose you could call me a bit of a nomad. Did he backpack across Europe or something? <laughs> what does nomad mean in this context? Eh, well, whatever. That sounds really cliche. Oh, not really. It sort of suits you. Hmm. To tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It 
gets to a pretty dark place. It got to the point I used to just wish I could take a vacation from life. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? I used to wish for that too. I wanted to be free. I didn't want to be responsible for my dad anymore. And now I'm not, but I can't say whether that's a good thing or not. Wishes never really do come true the way you expect them to, huh? <laughs> yeah, monkey's paw. My stomach starts to throb painfully. I look down and press my hand against it. It felt okay for a little while there, but it's acting up again. God, why did all this have to happen? Still feeling nauseous? Huh? Damn, I shouldn't be so obvious about it. I don't want to cause any trouble. This might be causing even more trouble, though. Oh, yeah, it's gotten a little bit better, but, uh... Anyway, I move my hand away from my stomach. It's not like resting my hand there is going to make the pain go away. In a way, as long as I feel that pain, I know I'm still alive. Oh, wow. That was morbid as hell. What's wrong with me? Wait, didn't... Didn't, uh, Swing Bob here have a thought like that? Where he's like, that was morbid as hell. He did that, he did that too, didn't he? I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. Think we should stop and rest? I glance at the fuel gauge on the dashboard, nervous. We barely have one-fourth of a tank left as it is. Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just waste the gas. Onward it is, then. Trying to ignore my pain, I keep my eyes on the endless road stretched out ahead of us. Really hurts now. I don't think I've ever been in this much pain in my life. And that's saying a lot considering what I have to go through every month. <laughs> Suppose the women don't stop having periods just because the zombie apocalypse hit. <laughs> I deserve this, don't I? I shouldn't feel bad about it. I brought it on myself? What? Do you ever wonder? Like, why us? How did we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? From the moment I swung that baseball bat, I sealed my own fate. Oh, did you kill your dad? Huh. Just as I start to sink into really dark thoughts, I hear Swing Bob's voice. Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. We're here, and that's what matters. Despite it all, we're here, and we're safe. The how and the why of it is just garnish on the salad. You know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean, that we're, you know, really facing the apocalypse or whatever. So, the first couple of months, I just... Just kept working, like, kept on, like, everything was fine. Okay, now that's one thing I don't get about this story, like, did they know the apocalypse was coming? That kind of sounds like that? Or did the apocalypse start and then society just continued on for a while? I don't know. And then, and then I couldn't ignore it anymore. And then dad. How do I even begin to explain? Listen. You don't gotta answer me if you don't want, but... Your old man. What happened? My dad? I killed him. Ooh. I smacked him in the head with a baseball bat and ran like hell. Wow. Damn. Huh. So he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. But they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore, so he wandered off to another one. It just so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. Does it count as a murder if you kill a zombie? Wow. Does it count as murder if you never get arrested because your town's entire police force is now undead? Wow, she's a way different character than him. It's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. 
So did you kill him? Or was he a zombie and then you finished him off and you feel like you murdered him? I kind of get the vibe she like legit killed him. <laughs> it wasn't like he was a zombie. And so am I. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. My stomach is burning with pain and guilt. I stare out the window seeing nothing but darkness. Who knows what could be lurking out there. Though that hasn't changed since way before, I guess. Hey. I feel a sudden warmth on the top of my hand. Hesitant at first, but then steady. I swing Bob's hand envelops mine, and I feel comforted. Safe. We're still here, just remember that. Until that changes, there is still time. Things might never get any better, but it'd be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. <laughs> it's pretty cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get on with him, I bet it must be hard losing someone that close to you. Wow. Where do I even start? White lie, be honest. Ooh, be honest. For some reason, I feel like I can be honest with Swing Bob. Even though I barely know him, I trust him. He seems he's, like, from his perspective, he was totally a nice, honest guy. Somehow. My mouth opens all on its own, and the words spill out. Honestly? I felt relieved when he died. Then I felt awful for feeling relieved. Okay, so she didn't say this last time. But I spent seven years of my life taking care of him. At the end of it all, I just felt... free. Not that I got to enjoy that feeling of freedom for long. It makes me feel like a monster to admit all of this to someone else. It really does. But that's the truth. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. He's right. I know that I'm only human, and I'm not a monster. Not yet, anyway. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around for a long while. I wonder if there is still anyone else out there. I wonder if they're stuck out there like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Swing Bob. <laughs> I... can't go on like this, just keeping it to myself. Hey, Swing Bob? There's something I need to tell you. I touch my stomach lightly with the palm of my hand. The searing pain reminds me that I'm no longer entirely human. What? Oh, I gave my humanity up when I killed my dad. I should have said something before. I wanted to, but... I was scared and I'm still scared. I didn't even hesitate. I swung that baseball bat as hard as I could. And then he bit me- oh. And then he bit me in the stomach as a parting gift as he crumpled to the ground. So maybe he was a zombie. Even in death, Dad still found some way to screw me over. I'm so confused as to whether or not he was actually a zombie before. I... Hey, stop. It's okay. I always blame Dad for Mom leaving us. He was selfish? He was an asshole? He was this. He was that. Just look at me! I've put Swing Bob's life in danger. I've lied to him since the day we met. I'm... I'm my father's daughter. But I... Just... Just keep calm, alright? We don't even really know how this all works, so... Maybe there's a way. I'm so... So sorry. So he knows. He totally knows. Does it hurt? Wow, this is heavy. Not as much as I expected it to. I mostly just feel cold and hungry. I'm not even sure it has anything to do with being bitten. If it wasn't for this, I looked down at my stomach. I 
might think I just imagined it. I, I wish I was dreaming right now. I wish this wasn't a reality. I wish I was dead. Careful there. Remember that thing about wishes. <laughs> Monkey's paw, right? I guess sitting in a car beats having customers or my manager yell at me. Silver lining. <laughs> Retail? <laughs> Almost as bad as zombies. <laughs> Worse, probably. Anyway, you should sleep if you want to. We're probably on this road for a while. A while, huh? Well, a rest does sound nice. I always had to get up so early for work. I'm not used to being up this late. I'm starting to feel really sleepy. Yeah, you're right. She's like sweating, isn't she? Maybe? Like, look at the look at the art on her. That that could be sweat. That could just be like the way they drew her. I don't know. Will you will you wake me up if anything happens? My mind flashes to the baseball bat still in my trunk. No, I won't think about that, not right now. Of course. And hey, I gotta be somewhere better down the road, right? Better than back there at any rate. Yeah. Maybe there'll even be a station that plays both Alanis and ABBA. Ha <laughs> ha! Maybe I've been running ever since Mom left. I never looked back, just kept going. It was all I could do to keep from falling apart. Swing Bob and I, we've both done enough. We've both gotten farther than I ever thought possible. I notice the fuel gauge light is on, but I feel strangely at peace. I close my eyes, smiling, as my consciousness already starts to drift. Wherever this road goes, whatever lies at the end of it, we lived! The proof of that will remain no matter what. So for now, let's just keep moving forward. Wow. I was way heavier than I was expecting. Wow! So there's like a bunch of different endings to this. I kind of want to look at them. I don't know, man. Maybe, I mean, I'll have the link in the description. For this game, if you want to play it on your own, you can get it for free on Itch.io. And maybe see some of the different perspectives. I feel like we got two really powerful endings, though. Like, and I feel like what made this one more powerful was that... We didn't get that the first time we played. We didn't know all of these things. That she thought, that she was going through. We didn't get all the dialogue with her talking about being bit. That never even came up when we played as... The guy the first time. Wow. This is good, man. Wow. So good. I was not expecting that at all. I mean, I kind of wondered if she was sick with a bite when we played a swing bob, but to actually, like, see all of her thoughts and, uh, have them talk it out the way they did when we didn't experience that before was so good. I mean, I'm trying to think two other endings right away would be going through swing bob's perspective as... When we, when we learn about the bite. And then... Going through Shaniqua's perspective when we don't talk about the bite out loud. I don't know what the other two endings would be. Really interesting though, that is so... In wow. Huh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Let me know by leaving a like. If enough of you guys like it... Enough of you guys like the video, I should say. Maybe I'll go ahead and try to do an all endings video. Because... Damn, this was powerful. It was so good, though. So, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for taking a chance on the game that you've probably never heard of before. And I appreciate you being here. So, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video that we do around here. Hello, everyone. My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to the game called The Shadows That Run Alongside Our Car. I saw this game on Itch.io, and it caught my attention due to the art style. And due to the description that it has where two strangers sit in the car and they just start to kind of lose track of what's going on.